We're here at the MIT Media Lab, exploring the NeuroFutures exhibit. NeuroFutures brings brain-computer interface media to life. They actually have creations and replicas from some of these amazing neurotech movies. It's such a great way to talk about ethics and drive innovation in the field. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, so this exhibit, NeuroFutures, is actually about the future and science of brain-computer interfaces. There is a lot of different, extremely cool sci-fi media depicting different BCI systems, as we're going to see in a bit. We started the project around six years ago, but it was actually a lot of work to really categorize them because each single uh, prop has its own cover, image, date, utopia, dystopia, and we look for the research behind it. I do the descriptions. Actually, COVID pushed everyone. I think people had some time on their hands. It was a bit of obviously unknowns around. Not a single prop was actually fabricated fully within these walls. We were really all remote. So all those pieces were really made at someone's place. We have analyzed more than 450 different media pieces. We call it BCI Fi history. BCI Fi is a term we use for this installation to talk about brain computer interfaces that are explicitly depicted in science fiction media. The first mention, the very, very first mention of BCI is actually 1641 Descartes' Meditations. He was talking about this very famous concept, a brain in a jar, that you can take out the brain, put it somewhere, and it will just function, think. And then in 1923-24, Berger very famously made that paper about EEG, or electroencephalography, one of the still, up to this day, 2022, a core way of measuring brain signals from human body. Next prop here, and this is the prop we are very proud of and huge, huge shout out to Shannon Murphy who actually orchestrated this whole piece. You might have recognized this one, that is Total Recall. There is a lot of research ongoing where we are talking about deassociating memory from the emotion. Not Total Recall level, but we already can manipulate memories. Uh, I recommend Memory Reconsolidation Theory. Talk a lot about the fact each time you are trying to remember something, you are actually doing the recall to your memory and it's unstable. You, each time the memory changes, basically. BCIs that you can purchase if you want. They're not done by us, but it's from different parts of the world. And all of those are actually based on very famous one-channel BCI and we have a lot to talk about if it is a BCI or not or if it does pick up brain activity, maybe it's more muscle activity, but that's how it is advertised. And these are all games. And again, you will only work of those with one channel. So if you're relaxed, nothing would happen. If you're very focused, the little ball, the little drone and the quadcopter, they will start moving. Uh, we are trying to really push and actually get, in to some cases, inspired by these pieces. So the first one is a pair of glasses, so form factor that is pretty realistic. And since this is not a lot of channels that you can get the brain activity, so we're actually adding additional modality in this call, case, it's called electroculography. It's eye movements without use of the cameras. I did mention the project I uh, led called Thinking Cap, Sorting Head from Harry Potter, that's exactly the form factor. And we did this as a study in these very walls just before, you know, the February, March 2020. And we had like over 150 kids coming over with their caregivers, parents, etc. Uh, even before I was doing a lot of demos using BB-8, like from Star Wars and drones and whatnot, and it always sparked that interest but this is also fun and gimmicky and uh, oh so unrealistic and i realized that people seeing this and they always believe it's not coming it's not happening it's all yeah research in some labs somewhere because they've seen a lot of things in the news that are general media but not actually you know having time because it's not their job also to read those papers review those papers 
you know, go to those conferences. And I realized that they're just missing on it. And obviously the lessons we learned from social media and all other things that went very, very south kind of taught us that we need to encourage people, lawmakers including, to really think about it. You're a lawmaker, maybe in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, depending on countries. Uh, you're gonna go with your kids, grandkids to the cinema theater. You will see that amazing Avengers. And it will spark maybe not your interest, but of your child. And I do believe first children, kind of where we really need to put our efforts because they will be creating those. They will be pushing that legislation as well. And the visual way of showing it I find it the best way. On the website, we actually, in addition to the suggestion form, we have a form for actually support and contribution. So again, thanks so much for actual organizations who support us. For example, Arts at MIT supported this installation. Downstairs would not be possible without them. This type of support is Humangers, so if you're an organization, you can totally support us. We also have something called Word Cloud. And when you click on it, it actually shows you the whole set of names that DCI fi so science fiction of brain sensing, used to name their props. You would actually see all of the highlights and you are getting access to the database. So database highlights all 450 sci-fi media pieces. You can also read, is it invasive, non-invasive, the year, the cover, and more importantly, how far is it from becoming a reality. The Neuro Features installation will be at Media Lab uh, Lower Lobby till Autumn 2022. Then it will be actually moving around MIT campus still. But we do have a traveling version. So this specific version, for example, a traveling version is gonna go to Hamburg, to Germany actually in October, where we're gonna give a talk and actually show some of the props. And we actually make an exclusive props for those uh, cities we are visiting. That's not our first travel. So if you're a specific place and visit obviously Germany is, as you know, huge on brain sensing, we will have something very special for them, mate.